Hello everyone and welcome back to EV Texan. Today I'm going to be covering 120 volt charging options in North America for the Tesla Mobile Connector. Now there are plenty of videos talking about whether you could charge a Tesla or any electric car using only a standard 120 volt outlet. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on the different standards of these 120 volt outlets and let you decide which, if any options, would be right for you. Let's get into it. The first section I'll be covering are the 15 amp outlets. These will be one of the slowest methods of charging your Tesla, but they're widely available and abundant everywhere in countries that use NEMA receptacles. NEMA stands for the National Electrical Manufacturers Association and is a trade association of electrical equipment manufacturers based in the United States. These outlets will provide 12 amps of current providing 1.44 kilowatts to your Tesla. This is enough to charge your Model S at 3 miles per hour, Model 3 at 3 miles per hour, Model X at 2 miles per hour, and Model Y at 3 miles per hour. I'll be showing all these numbers again at the end for comparison, and keep in mind, these will vary with the battery size of your vehicle and some other conditions as well. The 15 amp outlets include the 115, the 515, and the L515. The NEMA 515 outlet is the standard outlet used in most North American households. Every Tesla mobile connector comes with this adapter. If you lose your adapter, you can purchase another one from Tesla's website for $35. The 115 is an old, deprecated receptacle that functions identically to the 515 but lacks a safety grounding pin. The only way to charge your Tesla with a 115 outlet is a 3-prong to 2-prong adapter and attaching the ground tab to a proper ground. I highly do not recommend doing this. The last 15 amp plug is the L515, a locking version of the 515 outlet. These are fairly common for small computer servers and other light duty applications that it would probably be bad to unplug. You can purchase a fully compatible adapter for an L515 outlet at evseadapters.com for around $59. As a side note here, the adapters from evseadapters.com are top-notch, high-quality adapters that are plug-and-play with the Tesla mobile connector. There's no need to fumble around with setting the correct amperage on the screen in the car. You just plug it in and go on your way. If you need an adapter for any receptacles or a custom application, I cannot recommend them enough. Next is a smaller group, the 20 amp outlets, which include the 520 and the L520. These will be moderately quicker than 15 amp outlets, providing 1.92 kilowatts at 16 amps. While that may not sound like a huge increase over the 515, that's an additional 33% output, which is enough to charge your Model S at 4 miles per hour, Model 3 at 4 miles per hour, Model X at 3 miles per hour, and Model Y at 4 miles per hour. The 520 outlet looks nearly identical to a 515 except for the winking left side. These are typically used in garages and commercial applications. You may even have a few in your own home and not even know it. The 520 adapter is the last 120 volt Tesla made adapter featured in the video and it will set you back $35 from Tesla's website. The L520 receptacle is used in beefier lockable applications like computer servers and some power tools. This adapter is available from EVSE Adapters for $59. Up next is arguably the weirdest group, the 30 amp receptacles. These outlets will charge your Tesla twice as fast as the 15 amp group, outputting 2.88 kilowatts at 24 amps. You'll receive 8 miles per hour in the Model S, 10 miles per hour for the Model 3, 6 miles per hour in the Model X, and 9 miles per hour for the Model Y. The outlets are, you guessed it, a 530 and an L530. We do have an oddball out with the NEMA TT30 connector in this group as well, and we'll get to that in just a minute. The 530 is used for high output industrial equipment requiring 120 volts. It is definitely in a different league than most of the outlets we've covered so far. 
The L530 is the locking version of the 530 for power sensitive applications as well. Both adapters are available on EVSE adapters, with the L530 being $59 and the 530 being $77. Despite its odd appearance and TT designation, the TT30 or travel trailer outlet is likely the most common outlet in this group. Used at campgrounds, pop-up RV sites, and even in some homes, this odd outlet can provide you a relatively fast charge if you'll be visiting for an extended period of time. Our home actually has a TT30 outlet right outside the garage. I'm guessing someone who used to live here had a travel trailer at some point? Strange, right? The last group with a sole resident is the 50 amp group. The beefy NEMA 550 outlet is used for high amperage industrial or commercial power connectivity applications, according to the manufacturer's website. These receptacles output a whopping 40 amps, which should outclass all others when it comes to power output, right? Well, kind of. The Tesla mobile connector is limited to 32 amps of output, so instead of 4.8 kilowatts at 40 amps, you'll get 3.84 kilowatts. Even with the 32 amp limitation, this is the quickest way you can charge with a Tesla mobile connector at 120 volts, and it'll charge your Model S at around 10 miles per hour, Model 3 at 13 miles per hour, Model X at 8 miles per hour, and the Model Y at 12 miles per hour. The adapter is now listed on EVSC Adapter's website for $77. And that pretty much covers all the common 120 volt outlets used in North America and some of the weirder ones as well. A lot of these adapters are going to be highly specific on what outlets you have available and I don't expect many to work as viable options for most people. I do however suggest purchasing a NEMA 520 adapter from Tesla. At only $35, you can charge your Tesla 33% faster in a pinch if you don't have a high output receptacle or a charger available. Also, I covered most every 120 volt NEMA outlet, but there are some other proprietary outlets out there like this Unicorn 120 volt 60 amp. If I forgot one that you'd like to see me review, let me know. Additionally, I'll be doing in-depth reviews of all of these adapters in the future, along with an arguably more useful 240 volt charging guide as well. So feel free to subscribe if you're interested and you liked the video. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day!